Poppy. It's Nicola. Really? All right, so let's get started. This is your mid-month update. I know we are a little behind on the mid-month updates. It's still mid-month, though. <laughs> I had that special that I was doing, so I had to kind of put a, a, a limit on the amount of work I was doing as far as my child. So let's get started. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is for mid-August 2019. What messages to guide us do we have Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? This is just a love update. Um, I'm only going to pull just to see what we have in love. There isn't a single or a couple, so it's just an update. If you guys want to check out the singles read, I do that on the first of every month. So let's see what messages we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. We'll also do... A little segment of the where we're going to use the karma cards, the karma sutra cards. So we'll see about getting a high vibration connection, okay, with someone. Um, usually the karma sutra cards just elaborate a little bit more into your own life like, in an explicit type of, type of way. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, and Rising Beings? We're going to pull a lot of uh, oracle cards to begin. We're going to pull two oracle cards. We're going to pull one from the angel gods and goddesses. And then we're going to pull one from the Romance Angels. Uh, one card, Pisces. All right. So we got the goddess of beauty. It says, you are you are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to fix or change. With the angel of vision, it says someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. So I do feel like here you just needed to trust your, your um, intuition and understand that no matter what's going on the exterior, you know within yourself what's going on with you. All right. So let's see what messages we have. Let me shuffle these good. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is for mid-August 2019. What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon. Hold on one second, guys. All right. My apologies. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Give me one card of guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. You want or a part for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. We got true love. Ooh, Pisces. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime, but your love life is being affected by children. Okay? All right. So, let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Mid-August 2019. Messages guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Mid-August 2019. What messages for guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? Mid-August 2019, what messages and items do we have for Pisces? Summarize and Venus, mid-August 2019. All right, Pisces. Whew. Just 10-10. Something's ending. Whew. Whew. Not quite. I feel like I gotta sneeze, but it's right there at the edge of my nose. Like it won't just, it won't just happen. And I think it went away. I would have liked to sneeze. <laughs> All right, so yeah, ten ten. That's an end. Somebody walk away. Eight of cups in the middle of your read. Eight of swords. Someone may feel trapped. Um, maybe lacking the confidence, but I do feel like there's a walking away that is happening. It's creating balance in a situation that may have been imbalanced. All right, so. We're going to be pulling, I mean, we're going to be clarifying this temperance card here. Divine timing here. You could be, um, this is divine timing is at work, but it could be angels that are working to kind of move things for you. I feel like you're just needed to establish your strength and really trust what you feel within yourself. Why is balance? It could be done with the Sagittarius. we got the Three of Pentacles here, Seven of Cups here. Someone's confused about a cooperation here. Nine of Cups. Someone needs to allow their concerns to fade, fade away with some. So for some of you guys, if this is you, you're dealing with this sort of cooperation. You're working with someone. You're working with someone. You're working with someone and you're confused about, or if it's not you, it could be someone else. You're working with someone, cooperating with someone. There's some confusion about either a relationship or what's going on within a relationship. With that being said, Seven, seven of cups plus two of cups, that equals nine of cups. Someone needs to allow their concerns to fade away in order so they, in order for them to gain material happiness. So someone needs to basically stop cooperating with the situation that is leading them to confusion. Stop putting in effort. Allow the transformation to happen. Some of you guys can be dealing with Scorpio. All right, so eight of swords here in the past energy. Why is this eight of swords here? We have the hermit here. 
with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords could be dealing with the Virgo. But I do feel like someone is in contemplation about letting something in, really needing to find their confidence to accept a new opportunity. But two, 10 minus 8, that's two swords. So someone is really needing to take the blindfold off and see that they're blocking their own path by, pre by preventing themselves from removing the swords or the worries that they have about this situation or about whatever it is that they're cooperating in. So I feel like someone is trapped in a cooperation only because Eight of Swords, they're creating obstacles where there are none. They're creating things based off their own perception of what's going on. So with the Virgo part again, so you guys can be done with the Virgo. Why is this contemplation here? Why is contemplation here? Why is contemplation here? So Page of Pentacles, Moon Card with the Five of Cups. Someone here needs to understand their worth. You need to understand your own worth. You're in contemplation about a situation that you've been in. Um, looks like something that has been a long time coming. With the moon card here, I do feel like there are some things that are hidden. There could be hidden regrets as well. So you could be hiding your own you could be hiding your own feelings of regret within the situation. You could have had a loss of pleasure in something, and you're needing to really allow yourself to alleviate. Um, being in that position because you're procrastinating your own happiness by staying in contemplation. You already know what you need to do. You just need to understand your own worth in order to do that. Meaning you need to put the, you need to invest the time into yourself to create what it is that you want to have moving forward. The problem that I'm getting is your focus is off. So King of Wands in the subconscious, what is why is King of Wands in the subconscious? You need to focus on your happiness. Your focus is off. You've been focused on keeping a cooperation moving. If not you, someone else has been focused on keeping a cooperation moving. Moving. You need to allow your, yep, holding on. You need to allow your concerns fade away and assert your independence. It's time for you to move forward. It's time to move forward. Okay, that's probably my mom. It's probably my mom. <laughs> So we got the Eight of Cups here. Why is this Eight of Cups here? I do feel like there's an emotional growth that is needing to happen. Hold on a second. All right. So let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. We have the Queen of Swords here with the Page of Swords and the Lover. So you need to really make a decision to remove yourself from whatever is delaying you from choosing your happiness. Some of you guys are searching for something more. Um, and the right thing to do with the Justice card here is to weigh the pros and cons of the situation you're dealing with. Um, create balance between your heart and mind and make a conscious decision with the Queen of Swords to speak your truth, Page of Swords, and choose the right decision or make the right decision for yourself. Some of you guys, the right thing for you to do with the Eight of Cups here is to walk away, um, to set your sets higher emotionally. Yeah, so let's see what, uh, wow. This is about your happiness. Some of you guys are not happy. You're needing to establish your strength so that you can find happiness. So let's go ahead and pull. I'm going to do the karma. Usually I've been doing the romance angles before. I'm going to do the karma suture before. As soon as my kid get out of here. You can go mix that in, in there. Get out of here. All right, so... What messages do we have for Pisces? First card out, Five of Cups. You're unhappy. Most definitely unhappy, Pisces. Um, you could be trying to cooperate with someone, but I feel like someone is bending backwards. That leg is most definitely bent backwards. Somebody is bending backwards in order to have a situation um, be stable. I do feel like you needed to change your perspective. Release the regret. What messages do we have for Pisces? Test energy here for Pisces. So let's just see what we have. So we got the three of wands. Yes, yeah, some of you guys in the past may have been trying to have patience with the situation here, trying to keep, you see how they holding themselves up in their war, trying to keep stable. Someone has been trying to keep stable, but there's disappointment because this situation may not be meant to be kept stable. It was meant to make you grow. External energy, five of wands, you're dealing with someone else that's conflict in your external. Again, someone is bending. You see how them legs bent? Somebody bent in all kinds of ways in order to create I feel like there's conflict in your external, and someone may be been in, in a way to create conflict in your life. But five of cups, five of wands, I feel like there's a change in the emotions and the passions. And you could be, you know, bending your will just to stay balanced within the situation. Give me the underlying energy here. What is this? Death. Huh. 
the underlying energy here is a transformation. Um, someone's keeping you stuck in a situation. They got their foot on your back. You see that? So I do feel like someone's keeping you stuck in this situation. In this, turn it down. Somebody's keeping you stuck in a cycle, and I feel like you're bending over backwards, or someone is bending over backwards to try to keep it working. There's a need for you to see clearly. Ace of Swords here, outcome. There's a need for you to really see clearly that there's a different, um, there's a different path for you. There's a different way for you. I feel like the reason why you're in this disappointment or the, in this conflict because you're in a situation that is not. That you're meant to experience it, yes, but you're also meant to move away from it because there's more that you're needing to experience. So what messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have empathy. Some of you guys are in this situation because you feel empathy for someone. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. With that being said, you need to start feeling empathy for yourself and delight in the love of life and bring a fun to all that, and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So some of you guys, like I said, it's about your happiness. You need to be happy. You need to be happy at this present moment. You deserve to be happy. And if the situation that you have is not presenting that energy to you, you need to remove yourself from the situation. This is all I have. Until next time, guys. Peace.